Hi everyone, welcome back with the DIY video. This time it's a makeover to the dining room. Our dining room was a bit mess and I wanted a declutter for it even before our vacation but finally decided to do after that. I wanted a home office space for myself because I used to scatter my things all over and wanted a place for it. So showing my home office area. A neat ironing board was needed and some other DIY crafts included in today's video. Now these clips were taken on different days. Hope you would like it. Keep watching. Now in my DIY living room makeover, you might have seen how I made the coffee table made out of tire. So as I like changes always, I had already kept that in our dining room and kept the one in the dining to the living room. Moreover, kids while watching TV was jumping around, I had to change it anyways. I tried to make it to the corner but wasn't looking good over there, so I changed it back. Our dining chairs were all worn and torn and we had been thinking of changing it from a very long time, so finally decided to change along with the makeover. So the chairs are completed. Our ironing table used to look very messy, howsoever I do it well. Wanted it to be neat all time, so finally decided to make an ironing board. So I took measurements of the tabletop and went over to the carpentry shop and bought a plywood that's just few centimeters less in size. Now he's the same brother who cut the plywood that we use for the tire coffee table. Last time many of you had appreciated my husband to be very supportive, guess that motivated him a lot so this time without any hesitation and delay, he was there for me. Thanks to all of you. So this is the plywood that would go on top. I took out the sponges inside the dining chairs. Place the plywood on top. With a heavy duty stapler, pinned it all around. Take your preferred sheet. Pull it well from the side so that it would be neat on the board. Again pin it all over. And that's ready. So now it's neat and clean. So this table remained in the corner. I decided to make it my office desk and space. I don't use my microwave nowadays, only my husband make use of it when we are on vacation, so I'm packing it until he needs it. I had already stuck a black paper on it. I had this wooden shade with me, so I'm using it now.
I wanted to hang my play button on the wall. So as a background stuck a piece. I could also add some notes at the bottom if I wanted but I usually don't have the habit of that. Now let me show you some DIY crafts that I made for the living room. This is a glass jar. You stick a tape as you like. I'm just placing a long piece of paper to make it even. You can choose your favorite color. I sprayed white and then gave just few sprays of red and blue here and there. Now let it get dried. Meanwhile, let's move to another one. This is another glass bowl that I had. There was some dust on it, so wiping off with a tissue paper. Here I'm using small tapes. Stick it in a random order like a zigzag. It's up to your design. You can stick it anyhow you want. I'm spraying gold completely. And let that get dried. Now back to this one again. Take out the tape. I'm adding some pearl metallic color to give a shiny glossy look. I'm using gold on top. Some red over here. Bottom gave a silver border. And keep it till it dry. Now this is completely dry. Take off the tape carefully. Check out the overlapped ones and cut off wherever needed. And the final look. Then to a clay bowl, you get air dry clay in all stationery shops. Just knead it for some time and roll it out. Make sure there is some thickness in it, not too thin. Use a cutter or I have used a bowl to get that round shape. You can even have a square or rectangle or any shapes of your choice. Add some water onto your fingers and make the shape clean and flawless. I'm adding some designs, you can keep it plain. Now this bowl had design on it, so I'm placing the clay on top and lightly pressing it so that the design gets onto the clay too. Now keep it for drying at least 24 hours or 48 hours if possible. Meanwhile towards the indoor swing, I always wanted a swing in my home but buying one was expensive, so finally did my own. Nothing else could be much satisfying. We called upon a brother for the drilling part. Strong hooks were definitely needed for this. Now this cushion was from our old sofa. I had kept it for doing some DIYs. Took the measurements for drilling the holes on the board to hang it. Now this board was again from our old coffee table from IKEA. It is really a strong one though it doesn't look much thick. The rope that we bought that day wasn't enough so we had to buy again. The room was full of dust after the drilling.
Coincidentally, we both were matching with greens. Tied a tight knot below. And it's done. You can see it's really strong. The clay ball is all dried and hard enough. Adding some pearl metallic color again, gold on the inside and red onto the back side. Moving on to a craft with some popsicle sticks for my office desk. Placing the sticks equally apart to the length you prefer. Stick the other way around so that these remain in places. It takes some time to dry if you are using craft glue. If you have glue gun, use that. My glue sticks were over so I am applying craft glue. And place the sticks again on top. Then let it get dried. Now got this wood piece from a stationery. It was dry so applying some olive oil to make it look clean. Making a candle holder, take a glass jar, use your preferred color, I use this thread to get a natural look. Take the measurement on top, just tie lightly as you will need to take it out. Keep that aside, take 3 times the length of the jar as shown. So that's one piece. You will need 8 of such length. Take one. Fold it in the middle and tie on the round as shown. Similarly tie the rest of the ropes equally apart. Place it back on the glass jar. Take two ropes from each as shown and give a knot. So the first layer is done. Similarly continue the second one the same way as shown. And then continue. Repeat till the bottom. Now you will have to tie all together at the bottom. So for that again take a piece of thread. Make a small circle in the center and make a knot. Then tie each thread onto the circle.
that's how it is now you can use this as a flower vase a candle holder a pen stand or anything else now i can't take the credit all by myself i have seen a tutorial on this from youtube itself so i shall definitely link below from whose video i found it i did the same with red woolen thread and added some color some shopping at saku i wanted a hook or ring to hang the plan hanger it's again here where i got the rope for the top part of the thai coffee table i actually had gone for buying some strong chain to hang the indoor swing but the ones available there wasn't strong enough so I had to switch to rope take your desired length you will need total 16 ropes hanging so you will have to take eight very long ones and then fold it in the middle so that you get 16 threads totally tie it on the hanger as shown take it from the back and pull from inside adding some beads to the threads would make it look pretty so i'm just uh, giving a tutorial again so this is a thread you will need uh, four threads at a time i have taken uh, total 16 so for the time being i'm taking two long threads and folding it so that i get total four so four threads so what you do is imagine this is your hanger and then bring it from behind and then pull this part through inside so this is a knot now let me show you the square knots take this to a part now you can if you want you can add beads over here keep two in the center keep two on the sides and the square knots begins like this take the left side and bring it on top of this two and what you do with the right one is just take it on top and go pull from behind just like this if you want you can put it on top but my tutorial was this way so i'm just keeping it over here now the second part will be we'll start with the right one bring it on top bring this over here and pull through the right side and that's how you get this knot from this 16 start with four threads in a group at a time and keep aside the 12 threads so that it doesn't mix up and you don't get confused keep adding beads if you want same do with other threads taking four each in a group make sure you're keeping it even in the length you will finally get this all the four are done in equal length now to get that spiral one what you have to do is for the full square knot we have done with both the threads instead of that just continue with one side let me show you now if you are starting with the right continue with the right and if you are starting with the left continue with the left so it will be like this i am starting with the right you'll get this knot here this will be your first knot and since i started with the right i am again continuing with the right now continue with the right thread till your desired length and you will get that spiral rope give intersection so that the pot remain in place 
So for that make square knots, take two from each group. That's an intersection with square knot, one more and make it a full square knot. Do it with all the groups. Adding some more beads. Check the length where you have to place the pot. You will have to hang it and see the length. Now I had enough thread remaining so I placed another pot below with just the half square knots making it spiral. That's another tiny pleat made with air dry clay. Just placing it below the candle holder so that it remains in place. Instead of just adding a candle, I added it inside a colorful glass so that it adds color. You can even glass paint the plain glass too just for a color. Adding some potpourri for fragrance. Since we are just 4 members, for the time being I am keeping only 4 placemats. That's the bowl, adding some stones just to make it heavy and remain in place. The swing board was empty so to just give a look I added borders with the sticker. This basket I utilize to keep some extra bits like tea coasters and some other which might not be needed always. Keeping it on top of the fridge. Now my makeover doesn't get completed without adding some greenery. There were a few already on my window side but I wanted a bigger one to keep aside the sofa. Now I got these two flowering succulents together just for fire reals. I changed the flower to a different pot and thought of hanging it on the rope hanger.
So that ends today's makeover video. Hope you all enjoyed. If so, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to share among your friends and family. For more videos, click the subscribe button and the bell icon for updates. See you with another one. Until then, take care. Bye bye.